Today's haul is a Cherry's haul. TikTok viral leggings. So I have got some really good news. We randomly bought these plants today from a van. <laughs> Starting today off with a lovely walk. It's actually Easter Sunday today. And my brother was like, Simone, shouldn't you be vlogging? So I decided to get my phone out because obviously I didn't bring my camera with me. Um, and yeah, we're just having a little walk. We've got the dog with us. And it is such a nice day. I know I'm saying that while I'm wearing a huge black hoodie. I literally just came with the clothes on my back. So didn't really have much choice. I hope everyone's having an amazing Easter Sunday or Easter weekend. Um, it's probably going to be long after Easter when you're watching this video but nevertheless I hope you have an absolutely fantastic one. Eight loads of chocolate. I'm um, actually just walking off a full of fry up right about now. Girl. <laughs> oh my god it's been so long since i've actually had other people in my videos but yeah if you're like a original subscriber you would have seen her in the mykonos vlog when we surprised her on her first ever um trip abroad first time on a plane everything i will link that video down below if you want to watch it it's very funny not gonna lie um but probably a bit the quality is probably not as great because I did I have my camera at the time I'm not even no, sure um but yeah definitely give it a watch let's go this way <laughs> Milo You're so excited, aren't you? Spring vibes. The funniest thing is it's meant to snow tomorrow. <laughs> Goodness me, how pretty. Guys, as you can see, we have done half of it. So this took five bags of the black pebbles. Also just want to flag now, if anyone's trying to do this and they need black pebbles, do not buy this because it dries gray. It actually worked out really well for us because 
we prefer the, the color that it dried to. So yeah, if you are looking for pebbles that, and they're not really pebbles either. So if you're looking for like rocks that dry gray, then this is perfect. Oh my God, I look so crazy. So Craig's left now to go pick up five more bags of those stones because he wants to finish it today. But when we was there, we said, you know what? We'll just get five, we'll do half today. But he's clearly gotten a surge of motivation to do the other half. So fair enough. I don't think I mentioned to you guys, but we randomly bought these plants today from a van. So I think it's basically the guys that do the plants for the development. Um, and they basically were doing a discount. So they had literally a van of plants and was basically knocking around to see who's interested in buying plants at a discount. So I picked up these plants. I'll show you what they look like. I have no idea what these plants are aside from the buxus. So please don't ask me because I really don't know what these plants are but I purchased them purely because they looked nice so I'll show you guys what they look like so we need to find a spot I need to find plant pots for it as well which is another reason why we won't be in queue earlier but I couldn't find anything that I liked I look so ridiculously oh my god I'm literally my nose is running like crazy um and it's so cold outside hence why I had to wear my big jacket you're probably thinking why is she wearing that big jacket while she is doing gardening but that is why it's so cold anyways i'm not gonna go outside to show you the plants i'm just gonna show you them from the window so basically we've got this tall boxes in that spirally effect and i just thought that was too cute not to purchase and pop in the corner of the decking and then i've got these two like pyramids of something called laura something one sec so I just went out and checked and it's called Laura Nibilis don't know if I've said that correctly anyway the blue cylinder thing on the floor is actually a rug I purchased for the decking so initially I purchased the rug that you see there and basically it was so small like I couldn't believe my measurement taking was so off that I had to buy a bigger rug that was twice the size because once the coffee table that's underneath the cover goes on top of that it pretty much swallows everything up um can't find my drink i did go to, we popped a starbucks on the way back from b and q and i did get a frappuccino oh it's over there so guys that is the state of play at the minute i'm not gonna lie i'm absolutely starving and the time is 7.07 I really rarely end up having dinner early because we're always doing the most after work hours which is really really annoying but I'm shattered hopefully I would have done my 10,000 steps by the end of the day because I feel like I've been on my feet all day so yeah we're making progress guys and I'll show you guys what it looks like once we're finished <laughs> So basically this is the indoor outdoor rug that I purchased and it is for the decking. We just wanted to have like the decking almost be like our second living room space. So this is from the rug seller and I'm really excited to see what it looks like. So here's a sneak peek. I just feel I thought it would have looked a little bit more grey but I am rather happy with how it looks which is good. Um... Yeah, I can't wait to get this out on the decking. So guys, that's my step count and my extremely high heart rate. So yeah, if I don't hit 10,000 steps today, I'm gonna be pissed. Guys, I'm just on my way back from home base because I went to pick up um, some plant pots for the plants that we purchased yesterday and also have to get some like compost to fill the pots with. Um, I only managed to find two pots. For the third pot, I'm not 100% sure. I kind of held back because basically I don't 100% know whether I want the tall spirally bucks, buxes, I think they're called. Um, I'm not sure exactly where I wanted to sit in the garden. So before I like purchase a pot for it, I basically just want to make sure that it kind of goes with the other pots because I don't want to have too many mismatched pots. I don't know whether that's like, a garden no-no or a garden kind of thing that happens um, in terms of like mixing different types of garden pot but I definitely want mine to be semi cohesive most of my pots are gray at the minute so I'm thinking whether for this one I maybe do a different color whether it be like 
ivory or white or something like that but what i was actually thinking was to do a little cluster with the long spiral spirally boxes which is really hard to say by the way so i have got some really good news we finally purchased our shed so i am like beyond excited for all this extra storage space that we're gonna have um, and i just can't wait to organize it i don't even have it yet and i just want to organize it so it's just ugh. i don't think you guys actually realize the amount of shit we store in that cupboard with the washing machine so to have that cleared out because at the minute we have our recycling bins in there as well like for paper and cardboard and plastic so it is not the best cupboard right now it is so messy even have like the box for our hoover we recently purchased a pressure washer as well the only downside is i didn't realize how long sheds take to actually be delivered it's going to be delivered on the 20th of may which is seeming like a very very long time away but i know time has been flying this year so I'm just gonna sit back and be happy that it is in the process. We'll have to work out how to paint the shed because you guys know I'm gonna need some kind of cohesiveness with the gray in the garden. Um, and yeah, it needs to look nice. And I'm excited for that little project as well. A little shed before and after. garden delivery we have the arrival of our tabletop fire pit um i did mention that we purchased that in a few vlogs ago um so yeah today was arrival day so we'll be getting this together <laughs> literally hope it's not going to be too difficult because oh he's got two and a half hours that spare so he's gonna start pulling it together now this is so exciting our garden is finally coming together this is the last bit of furniture aside from the shed that we'll be adding i think it's safe to say we need a dining table out there so that is what this kind of doubles up as a dining table slash fire pit table um and we've always wanted one so i'm glad that we finally have it i hope we actually you know utilize it as much as i think we're going to use it so yeah i feel like this is at the perfect timing because obviously now everyone's meeting up in gardens so i feel like i'm just trying to make the garden a nice comfortable kind of haven for us to invite our friends to work from to you know just enjoy this second phase of lockdown life fish fridays, fish fridays. <laughs> if anyone watches girlfriends you would know what fish fridays is about if you haven't watched girlfriends check it out on netflix because it's so good i do have one quick haul in this video that i'm going to show you guys today's haul is a cherries haul and cherries has kindly sponsored this part of today's video so thank you so much cherries so i know i spoke about cherries before i've worked with them previously i've done a haul if you check them out they basically stock all of your household essentials you can literally pick up absolutely anything from things to your garden stationery homeware home decor pieces a lot of things for the pantry and the food cupboard and the sweets jar and i think that is pretty much what i've got here today i don't remember exactly what i've ordered but i know there was a lot of chocolate involved but saying that i did place this order around easter time when i was eating a lot of chocolate anyway feel free not to judge me if i literally end up pulling out just tons of chocolate i didn't actually need much cleaning products because my cleaning cupboard right now is so fully stocked that i literally had to tell myself you're not allowed to purchase any new cleaning products until you've used some of the products that you've actually got in there so let's see what i picked up from cherries i personally find the best thing about shopping on the cherries app is just how they've laid it out grid style exactly exactly like instagram so it does get really addictive consistently scrolling through the app as i've been working with cherries today i've been able to secure you guys 20 percent off your first order on the app so definitely i'm literally watching craig chase styrofoam bits of styrofoam around the garden it is so funny 
Anyways, yep, I've got you guys 20% off your first in-app order. Go check the app out. It's absolutely so addictive and literally the best way to shop. Anyways, let's dive straight into the haul. So I know I said... I wasn't going to get cleaning products but the first thing is actually a cleaning product um so this is actually for the garden it's outdoor furniture garden wipes i guess this will just come in handy over summer but i feel like this will just great to give uh, the garden furniture a quick wipe down sif is also such a reputable brand so another thing to add is you're not just going to find like unknown brands on cherries they work with some absolutely big retailers and big brands so definitely check them out yeah, this is going to get so much use i'm probably going to fly through this there's only 15 wipes in here but they're huge so literally the perfect size for garden furniture next i picked up two antibacterial pads because i absolutely fly through these now the back of this one is actually like a quite a rough scrub um, and i'm hoping to use these in the bathrooms without ruining the tiles too much so i didn't pick up two of them it's microfiber on one side and then like that tougher material on the other side you literally can't have too many of these scrub pads i always pick them up and I always actually use them and I just wash them but some of them are starting to look a bit tattered now this is what I'm really really excited for I kept saying to Craig we need to get some nice like plastic glasses for the garden because when it's so windy it's a bit of a risk kind of taking your nice glasses out there like we had a glass of Prosecco out in the garden the other day when it was actually sunny it was just so windy and I was nervous that my decent Prosecco glasses were gonna break so I did pick up these plastic plastic champagne flutes and um, that i'll probably use for like prosecco in the future so there's two in there and i actually bought two of them because if we have garden guests realistically i should have bought one more um but i just wanted to check them out they're so nice like look at the actual like design on there it looks like glass and these are also really good as well if you're gonna go on picnics so really really lightweight as i mentioned it's plastic so it's all safe for the windy days the next item i picked up i actually just washed white clothes without this and as i was unfolding every single item i was noticing stains on everything i am a hundred percent sure it's because i didn't use any of the oxy action this literally transformed a white wash i'm actually contemplating of rewashing the white clothes now because one of the tops that came out didn't even come out white and i'm so particular with only adding like white clothes together really really sad i completely forgot i was waiting for this delivery just so i can use this because i was completely out but this just goes to show this is so worth adding to your white washes guys so this is the vanish oxy action in crystal white i'm never doing a white wash without it again because clearly i absolutely need it the next item i picked up was this really really cute um it's a shower gel and i just thought it was really cute luxe and it's called dream delight so it's meant to be like world class perfume so the smell of this is meant to be really intense oh yeah that's lovely that is so good and i'm actually really bad at putting perfume on after like showers and stuff like that maybe it's because i have we haven't been going out all year i can't remember the last time i put perfume on but it's my first time trying this shower gel out and it's in the dream delight scent smells absolutely amazing okay there's way more cleaning products in here than i really thought there was going to be this next item was actually on offer i think it was two for like the price of one and this is basically the citrus fresh bin odor destroyer um by neutradol and it's literally life-changing i did have one in a previous haul that i did but it was called bin fresh buddy this does exactly the same thing so when you collate or like the gym or the gym when you collate all of like the bin juices and stuff at the bottom and the bin starts to stink you literally pop that lid open sprinkle this over the bin and it neutralizes the smell of all the disgusting stuff that you have in the bin so you can actually use the bin bag way longer than you need to so guys next up i picked up this item i can't speak too loud because i'm actually going to add this to craig's like birthday hamper so basically craig's birthday is coming up and i'm gonna do like loads of different like i'm gonna do like a huge hamper of all of his favorite things not sure if i'll actually find a hamper big enough so it will probably just be like a big display and i thought it would be cute to add this um he's absolutely obsessed with the jack daniel sauce and this is in like the smoky sweet not a huge fan of it because i find it so so sweet and overwhelming um he also loves like the tgi like sesame wing strips so 
when I saw this I thought he would absolutely love it so I'm just going to add it to the display why the hell not it's just going to be a huge collection of his favorite things alongside like gifts that I'm going to get him I'm going to make sure he doesn't watch this part of the video again huge brands that work with Cherry so you can find literally so many different things scrolling through the Cherry's app so next up before I show you guys all the snacks that I purchased I did pick up some more of the Febreze kind of refills because I absolutely fly through these. Within a few weeks, they're pretty much empty. So um, I did get a nice spring fresh smell. So this one is the Blossom and Breeze scent. And I thought it would be really um, nice to have a spring scent. So they actually have like the scratch and sniff on the front. So I'm just going to do that now. Oh, yeah. <sighs> I actually hate that scratch and sniff feeling because I don't like scratching paper because it makes me go all funny. Um, so yeah, don't like scratching that, but it smells amazing. Here is what I remember ordering when I did this haul, like chocolate and more chocolates. So I actually tried this for the first time the other day. I purchased this from M&S and I'm in love with it. It's basically chocolates and cornflakes the most random combination um and i feel like this is a well-known brand that's been around for a really long time but why am i trying it for the first time i also picked up the exact same thing but this time with biscuit so chocolate and biscuit and these are like the perfect size handbag treats by the way absolutely love the size of these and it's really thick i don't know whether you can see that but look how thick that is the size of the chocolate is literally like that thick it's actually ridiculous and yeah this by itself is 100 grams by the way so i'm excited to try that and i'm excited to try the biscuit one as well so that was the first thing i got if you guys watched my last video you would know i'm obsessed with oreos and that is why i picked up the cadbury's white chocolate and oreo this was actually the easter egg that we finished this week and it was so good so i thought i would buy it in the chocolate bar as well craig's absolute favorite biscuit is the digestives with chocolate so i just picked this one up for him i'll probably just give it to him now instead of adding it to his birthday bundle because i feel like i can just pick that up anywhere really and also decided to treat myself to some maryland biscuits a lot of biscuits going on here the last item is actually oreos because i've not had oreos in a long time without it being like in a egg or chocolate so guys that was pretty much everything i purchased from cherries i will leave a link down below for you guys to be able to access the app if you do want to get 20 percent. my code is simone 20 i'll insert it on the screen if i haven't already and yeah happy shopping trust me guys when i say the app is addictive so you're actually gonna have so much fun shopping so here's a little update on where craig's gotten to still dancing away which is good um craig's shortfall is he never reads the uh, assembly instructions for anything so it's always like i'm just gonna guess that that screw goes there and that goes there until there's like a problem so i'm really hoping he's reading he might just be pretending here or just looking at the photos <laughs> who knows but yeah <laughs> usually at some point there's always an issue so i'm praying that he doesn't mess this up me like who that and put me through that my baby is useless i'm living my life don't need you in mind me feeling just fine one of a kind who better than i oh hey, 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 oh shawty don't play that game shawty don't play that game i won't keep you safe time that i'll be okay don't play that game right guys i am gonna have to whisper this bit I have only gone and purchased the famous TikTok viral leggings from Amazon and apparently it's meant to make your bum look absolutely redonkulous. So I thought I would put them on if they fit because they look absolutely tiny. So if they don't fit, I'm going to be 
extremely embarrassed um so i got them in the gray color and these have been like going so viral all over tiktok got them in a medium as well um but now i'm thinking maybe i should have got the large because they are literally it looks like a child's pair of leggings um so i'm going to be putting this on and i thought i would film craig's reaction if he even notices first i've got to try and fit into these so wish me luck also i thought we can do a bit of a before so obviously i'm not wearing leggings at the minute but i'm just wearing black joggers and i mean <laughs> there's no definition there or anything it's just my bum's not small i know i've got like a bum but it's like not the most perkiest or defined bum so the way this looks already i already know it's going to be a bit crazy and i don't think i would ever wear these in public let's see how we get on and yeah let's see what craig thinks okay they're on I think I've made the hexagon print on hair go like the longest they've ever been. <sighs> oh my goodness. <laughs> that is ridiculous. Let me see if I can. Sorry, but there's no way this should be allowed in jeans because this is such a distraction. Here's what they look like from the front. And from the back is actually that you cannot wear that out surely. It looks like I have a thong on over a pair of fishnets. Um, so yeah, my leg looks like an elephant's leg to be honest not sure i will ever throw these on again so yeah we're gonna go so i'm gonna go wear this around the house put the camera up somewhere and hopefully can catch his reaction crazy these leggings are absolutely crazy and definitely create a bum illusion i'm nervous in case he doesn't even notice this but we tried <laughs>
try and stop me like a dog. I'm surprised you didn't say anything about my ninja dragon. I don't know what you would have the one. What do you mean? I didn't have the one. No, I bought them off like a more meter than that one of mine. But they did say anything about Amazon. What's the Amazon? Where he wants his big body speaker from. Yeah. Yeah, well, it clearly doesn't work because you didn't actually say anything, so it can't be looking that big. Well, it be looking at all that. So guys, it's been a few days now since that last clip. I'm literally in, I've just washed my hair and did a hot oil treatment. So I've got literally oil stains all over my top. Um, this is like a towel material top. So I thought it literally is the perfect thing to wear on a hair wash day. Anyways, as you can see, the video was an epic fail. Craig didn't even notice. He didn't even notice. It literally looked like I can be in that Eric Pride, or is it Eric Prids? But Eric Pritz, Eric Pritz, I really don't know. But I look like I can be in his Call On Me video with that attire. Maybe not skinny enough, but you get the drift. I just thought I didn't have an outro filmed for this video. So I'd quickly hop on now in my horrible state so we're all friends here you guys won't care but i just wanted to quickly hop on to say thanks so much for watching today's video really hope you guys were entertained and you enjoyed it i will be burning those leggings figuratively not literally don't worry don't come after me i promise i'm not actually gonna burn them but i just wanted to thank you guys for watching especially if you made it to this part of the video so don't forget to check me out on instagram at simone for all things fashion and beauty and at our underscore beautiful underscore home for all home interior home updates all of that jazz if you love interior you love home accounts you love you know having a sneak peek into people's personal spaces then definitely check that out also so happy that lockdown is going to be lifted soon so you already know the content is going to be getting a bit more different now which is great i feel like you guys have seen me cook hello fresh god knows how many times now so i'm so glad that's going to be behind us and we can have some new content and have different videos so definitely hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell if you don't want to miss any of my upcoming videos i am definitely going to be the first person in the queue on the 12th of april when home sense opens and you already know a home sense haul I can smell it mate it is coming so I'm so excited there's so many things I've been holding off getting because I'm waiting for home sense to open so yes definitely hit the notification bell you won't miss out on anything and thank you guys so so much for watching today's video Mwah! I will see you all in my next one